seen you for a while. Where have you been? Olivia was sick and he thought we all had chicken pox. Chicken pox? Oh dear. But we didn't and Olivia's much better. I'm much better now. But sure, my Gloria, I was sick. Mm. My mother said Olivia's t temperature was very high. I'm not sure what she meant, but it sounded bad. Temperature is how hot your body is. My mom said if we all had a temperature, we couldn't come to the farm with you. Yes, but now temperatures are okay. Well, I think they are. I'll tell you what, we can check it if you like. Huh? I've got a thermometer here. Is that what they look like? So whose temperature are we going to check first? Mine. Okay. Right. But don't bite it. Zoom out. Now we'll know in a few seconds what your temperature is. What, what? I don't understand. How can a stick you put in your mouth tell you if you're sick or not? Huh? How can a stick tell you if you're too hot? This must be a magic stick. I wonder if I can get one. What, what? I wonder if any old stick would work. Now, let's see. 37,5. Perfectly normal. What do you mean, 37,5? That's what it says. Your temperature is 37,5 degrees Celsius. Wow! You can tell all that from this little stick. How does it work? Well, the bottom of the thermometer is filled with liquid, often liquid mercury. When it gets warm, the mercury expands and moves up the tube. Actually, I've got a bigger thermometer so that you can see better. So as you can see, this one is much bigger. The bottom says naught and the top says 100. Is that as far as it goes? No, you can actually go below zero and above 100, but we don't use that in the restaurant. What do you think zero is? Very cold. Yes, and what happens to things when they get very cold? They freeze. Exactly. So the bottom of the thermometer says zero degrees because that's when water will freeze at zero degrees Celsius. What a degree? Well, that's how you measure temperature in degrees Celsius. If you look at this, there's a measurement bar for each and every degree, but it's only numbered every tenth degree. 10, 20, 30, and so on. There's another way of measuring temperature. I know I've heard it's uh, Fahrenheit or something. Very good, Tabo. That's a very clever way of remembering it. Far and height. Well, it's actually called Fahrenheit, but we don't use that in South Africa. We use Celsius. Let me just write that up for you so you'll see how it's spelt. Mercury. No, it's actually alcohol that's been colored red. Can you see what the temperature is in here today? It says 20, 1, 2, 3. It must be 23. 23 what? 23 degrees Celsius. Good. Now, is that warm or cold? Well, we're all warm and we're wearing summer clothes, so it must be warm. How can we make the thermometer say it's cold? Well, you know, Ufense, if you go through to the kitchen, you can get a bowl of ice and I'll show you. If zero is very cold, that water can freeze, what's a hundred? Well, what do you think the opposite of freezing is? Very warm. Hotter than that. Very hot. Getting closer. Boiling. Exactly. A hundred degrees is the point at which water boils. Like in a kettle? 
or on a stove. Yes, now look. Here's the bowl of ice that Ufense has brought us. I'm going to stick the thermometer in there. Now watch the temperature drop. 15, 12, 10, 7. Look, now it's zero. So the ice, which is frozen water, is at zero degrees Celsius. Freezing point. This is so cool. Can we do it with hot water too? Good idea. I'll go and boil some water, and in the meanwhile, we'll ask the old tree to tell you all about temperature. Hello, everyone. Phew. It's hot out here today. Temperature is how hot or cold something is. Let's see what the thermometer says. Wow, it's 30 degrees. Just how we baobabs like it. So today's temperature out here in the sun is 30 degrees. That's degrees Celsius. I hope it's a lovely day where you are too. You've got to be very careful with boiling water. It's very dangerous and it can give you a very bad burn. So let's be careful when we put the thermometer in the boiling water. Look, it's going up. 60, 65, 70, 80. It's almost at 100. Yes, but it's probably not quite at 100 because it's not exactly boiling anymore because I took it off the stove a minute or two ago. A thermometer must be very useful for doctors. Yes, and other people too. Even farmers. You know the farm that we're going to go and visit has cows and the farmer gets milk from the cows and he has to have it pasteurized. That means to get rid of things that can make us sick, they heat the milk to a very high temperature and then cool it down again. That's called pasteurization. Let's have a look. We get milk from cows. Oh, hello, Mrs. Cow. One can almost say cows are walking milk factories. A bucket of milk will always attract milk thieves of the cat kind. Hey, we've already said hello. Is another soppy kiss necessary? This is a mechanical milking machine. When the milk comes out of the cow's udder, it is 38 degrees in temperature. On many farms, cows are still milked by hand, but whichever way milking is done, everything must be kept very clean to prevent harmful bacteria from getting into the milk. Hey, isn't that ticklish? This is a modern milk processing factory where milk is pasteurized to remove all bacteria. In the process, the milk is heated to 72 degrees and cooled down. And this is the control area where the heating and cooling of the milk is regulated. Once the milk has been pasteurized, extra care has to be taken to keep it germ-free. From this point on, the milk has to be kept at very low temperature. This machine pours the milk into one liter sachets, two liter plastic bottles and one liter cartons, which are sealed before being packed in clean plastic grates. Crates are then loaded into cold storage trucks and taken to the shops. Hey. Ah, Mavin. Mavin. Hmm. I think I'm sick. Hmm? Why do you think you're sick? I think I've got a high temperature. How? Oh, you look okay to me. Well, I was sitting in the sun for a long time yesterday, and I think my temperature went up. Ah, uh, it doesn't happen like that. Well, what doesn't? Your body temperature doesn't rise because you are in the sun, mm. you see. Your body temperature always stays the same mm. in hot or cold weather, unless you're sick. Well, how does it do that? Well, I'm not really sure, but I know 
that your body has its own heater and fridge mm -hmm. and that it keeps you at the same temperature no matter what the weather is. Well, but, but I still think I'm too warm. Hmm, I'm sure you're okay. Yeah. Yeah. Marvin, mm -hmm. what's the opposite of warm? Mm, yeah, cool, cool. Is that what I am? Yes, Marvin, you're cool. Yes! <laughs> yes! Say it, say it! Marvin, you're so cool! <laughs> you're almost hot. Marvin, the cool dude. Yes, say it, Marvin, say it! I'm so cool! Yes! Ah, go away. I'm so cool! <laughs> yes! Marvin, the cool dude. I'm so cool. So when we go to the farm, will we see the farmer pasta pasteurizing? Yes, pasteurizing his milk. No, I think he and the other farmers in the area send all their milk to the same place to be pasteurized. What's the temperature going to be like while we're at the farm? I think it's going to be very warm, around 30 degrees Celsius. Good, so we can go swimming in the dam. <laughs> Yes, but make sure you all bring your swimming costumes. something is and that's called taking the temperature what what and we even learnt about uh, pasta pasta yeah pasteurizing milk what 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 a useful thing a thermometer is what what if you can find a thermometer test it out try and find out how many degrees Celsius things are remember water freezes at zero degrees and boils at a hundred until next time Bye for now! Bye! Bye.